We're going to begin tonight with that sad loss of a legend. Bears Hall of Famer Dick Butkus has died. He was 80 years old. Butkus known as one of the greatest linebackers to ever play the game. NBC 5's Leila Rahimi joining us now with much more on what has been such a sad afternoon here in Chicago. It really has, Allison and Stefan, and partly because this news, relatively speaking, came suddenly. Even recently, we saw Dick Butkus at a Bears game. He attended the season opener against the Packers and was enjoying the experience on the sidelines. But tonight we learn the news of his passing, the loss of a true legend and a household name on and off the football field. Buckus is, like we said, stands to be repeated, considered one of the greatest linebackers of all time. He was known for his relentless toughness, his tenacity, his work ethic and how all of it combined to result in success at every level of football and later in life as a notable actor. He was born on the South Side in 1942 and his incredible resume begins at the high school level. In 1959, he was the Sun-Times High School Player of the Year at Vocational. He was a two-time All-American at the University of Illinois. And in 1979, he was a first ballot inductee to the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Second to only Walter Payton, he's number two on the list of 100 greatest bears of all time. He was a five-time NFL First Team All-Pro and was a member of the NFL 75th and 100th anniversary teams. Former Bears head coach and NBC Sports Chicago analyst Dave Wanstead reflected on his passing. You know, Dick was a guy that when you talk about the Bears fans, the Bears nation, you always knew that whenever there was a meaningful event or something meaningful that had to do with the entire organization, that Dick would be there and that he would be there in his presence uh, with his demeanor and his personality. And, and that was the foundation, one of the building blocks of what George Hallis and the Chicago Bears are all about. The Bears released a statement. It reads in part, Dick was the ultimate Bear and one of the greatest players in NFL history. He was Chicago's son. He exuded what our great city is about and not coincidentally what George Hallis looked for in a player. Toughness, smarts, instinct, passion and leadership. Buckus was also a star on TV and in movies. He even appeared in roles as recently as 2014. And coming up, Stefan and Allison, we will have more in sports as well as his Bears who are in action tonight against Washington. And Layla, let's talk more about reaction. Fans of Dick Buckus, whether it was in film or on the field as the Bear, the Chicagoan, they're remembering our hometown hero tonight. NBC5's Natalie Martinez with the story. Bears and Dick Butkus fans at Timothy O'Toole's tonight are grieving their Bears legend. What he's meant to the city and, and to an individual growing up idolizing him, it's it's just truly losing a, a member of the family. Butkus was a Chicago Vocational High School alum who left a huge impression on CBS students and athletes who came after him, like Rashid. Dick Butkus was a name that really just stood tall and it resonated almost like God throughout the school. Uh, he was a true South Sider and, and his love and what he represented really resonated with all of us. Resonated and stuck with so many Chicagoans from an early age. He was my first football hero and you know whenever you're playing football as a little kid uh, he you wanted to be Dick Buckus. To lose somebody that was that influential but really just represented the gridiron represented that football spirit, represented that, that coldness of Chicago. To, to say goodbye to that, you know, it definitely touches even the biggest guys, it touches all of us. Butkus was, of course, undoubtedly from Chicago through and through. And these fans, no matter where they're from, recognize and respect the impact he made on the NFL. He was one mean guy, and even though we're from Dallas, everyone knows who Dick Butkus is. I mean, he's in the Hall of Fame. It's one of the greatest uh, linebackers ever played. The Butkus family is being embraced tonight as well, as the whole world says goodbye to the maestro of mayhem, the animal, who was also a big teddy bear. His wife from high school, sweetheart, 60 years and three children. I, yeah, my condolences. In Chicago, Natalie Martinez, NBC5 News.
So much love for him mm. tonight. The University of Illinois football is also reacting to the sad news, saying in a statement, quote, Illinois football sends its condolences and thoughts to the Butkus family after the passing of fighting Illini legend Dick Butkus. U of I's football program is also encouraging fighting Illini community to celebrate what Butkus meant to them by leaving flowers by his statue that's on campus. And as you can see, some already have started doing just that. So many tributes tonight. Keep it right here with NBC5. We'll have continuing coverage as we remember Dick Butkus on the air and on the NBC Chicago app and online at NBCChicago.com.